everybody. This is Raleigh Lifestyle TV, and we're at Raleigh Sport Grill Drive-In Cruising. We got a lot of nice cars out here. It's 102 degrees, but that doesn't matter. The passion for automobiles is hot today, and we're going to look at some nice cars. As you can see here, in any car show, there's always a difference in cars. From the 66 Nova muscle car to the sleek lines of the C3 Corvette. As you can see here on this Nova car, it's been upgraded, got a lot of restoration, nice paint on it, new interior, gives that sleek muscle look that a lot of guys love. If you come over here and look at the C3 Corvette, you can see the lines that Corvette was trying to instill. Now this is what we call the third generation Corvette. Uh, it's starting to come into its own now, it's starting to be a collectible car. Unlike the C2s and C1s who are really expensive, it's hard to get into those now. This is a good start for a collector car if you want to get into, if you love hot rods, if you love Corvettes, if you love style, this is a car that you can start off with in the C3 generation. One of GM's most popular cars over the years obviously has always been the Camaro. The 67 was the first year here. You see a couple of 68s. One has got that original look. One has been modified. This one actually was born as a six cylinder, but the owner has come in here, put a nice V8, a lot of chrome, a lot of nice wheels, great paint job. Love this car. Most people who see it like it, great paint job. But because of the popularity, you see a lot of these cars out here, but they still have good value because of the look, the style, and the history they give General Motors and the car enthusiasts in the, in the Camaro. A little earlier we were talking about Corvettes and Generations. The blue one you saw earlier was a C3. This is considered a C2. It's two for the second generation. This is the Stingray, one of the most popular Corvettes that have ever been put on the road. As you see, this one has been restored to almost factory condition. The red leather tires, the paint, the interior looks just like it drove off the factory showroom. And this is what we call a nice restoration. Not modified, not hipped up, just like it come off the factory. These are highly collectible cars expensive to get into but well worth the dollars if you can hang on to it and this is a great example of restoring it with the stinger hood, hood the red stripes the red leather tires convertible going up the street everybody's watching you drive this car I'm here with Ed right now the owner of the 68 Rally Sport Camaro beautiful car Ed how long have you had this car now approximately four years tell us a little bit about the car and how you came about getting it and why did you pick the Camaro I've wanted one ever since I was in junior high school. Some guys in my neighborhood, older guys, had nice cars, classic cars now, as we would call them. Uh, I looked through the newspaper, I went on WRL website, found a guy that had four cars, two Chevelles, two Camaras. Went to visit him up in Greensboro. He had this one in a building up under a car cover. As soon as I saw the thing come out from under the cover, I said, that's the one I want. Sounds like, a, sounds like a barn find underneath the car cover, <laughs> everybody in his dream, you expect well, to find one, close, something like that. Yeah. But your passion goes back to junior high school, right? Yes, sir. Same with a lot of us. The 68 Corvette is my personal car. When I was 10 years old, the first time I saw that body style. Car enthusiast, the hobbyist, the love for car goes back to when we're young. Never ends, never stops. Ed got his dream here in this Riley Sport 68 Camaro. I'm here with Frank, president of RTP Corvette Club. Had a great turnout here today. They got their tent pitched, they got their cars up here. They have a passion for cars and a passion for Corvette. Frank, tell us a little bit about your club. Now, you've been a president a little over a year now, right? Yeah, almost a year, and uh, the club has been in existence since like 2005. Okay, you got a lot of charity events, you've got a lot of members. Just give us a down and out about the club. All right, we, you know, we've been around. We, the whole thing is for uh, Corvettes to get together. We have fun. We enjoy the cars, we enjoy the people, we like to meet new people and have a great time. Mm -hmm. And our club is, uh, you know, Know, husband and wife, girlfriend and significant other. And we just have a good time. We travel. We've been across the country before. We've been all the way to uh, Tombstone, Arizona for a car show. We're doing our car show August 6th here at Sir Walter Chevrolet. Sir Walter Chevrolet. And, and what charity you'll you be working for on USO. That? Right, great. We're doing the USO that we spot, you know, they're one of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. We do a great job with them. We have a good time. Last year we were able to raise about two grand. Great. And everything in the show is free. People pay $15 entry fee, mm -hmm. but the show is free, free food, free ice cream. Anybody can come. It's a great event. $15 everyone. is a reasonable fee. A lot of car shows charge that $20 to $25. So you get a great car show, good fee, all goes to charity, win-win exactly. situation. Exactly. 100% win-win situation right. for the USO. Right. Now, I've been to your car show before in my 68. It's always a good turnout. Last year, you had to turn cars away. You had so yes, many we cars. Did. We this did. year, you've got that squared away. Yes. We can get all the cars we're in gonna, there this we're year. Gonna, we're not going to turn them away. We're going to keep it. Exactly right. Good the deal. USO needs the money. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, it's sure. That's but that's another thing. thing about car shows and car clubs. A lot of it's all about charity. A lot of it's all about doing things for other people. We take a passion that we have and we combine it with people we enjoy being around with and then we help other people. If you're ever out and about, come to a car show. Bring a kid with you. That that event may turn into a passion, spark a flame in that young kid, may keep him out of trouble. May not keep him off the streets, but if he's on the streets, I guarantee you, it'll be on four wheels. Hey everybody, we're here with Pete and I on what we call the C5 Corvette, the fifth generation. Uh, very popular car when it first came out. It really changed the body styles from the C4 to the C5. And Pete, this is your car? This is my car. And you've had it how long now? I've had it now since 2001. Mm -hmm. I'm a happy owner of it. I put 192,000 miles on it. and um, All below the speed limit though, right? All below the speed Thank limit. You. Just want to make sure. All below the speed limit. In case uh, any of our share friends are watching, we always drive low speed limit. <laughs> We're with Scott now, and now we're standing in front of a Grand Sport Corvette, considered the C6, the sixth generation. 2011? 2011. How many Corvettes you had before? Three. This is your third one? Third one. Beautiful car. 436 horsepower from the factory. You added right. another 200? Uh, a little over that, yeah. Miles per gallon doesn't matter? Uh, no, actually it's got a, a valve in there that opens up so uh -huh. there's no back pressure on the engine. So it gets the same mileage. Really? Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. I know General Motors appreciates that too. Oh, yeah. And you drive it underneath the speed limit? Of course. All right. Tell us a little bit why you thought the supercharger is important for your car. Well, my wife and I were coming back from, we took it out to California and we were on our way back on uh, Route 66. And right, the right. Z06 pulls up next to us <laughs> and he rolls down his window and says, you guys going to Bowling Green? And we said, no, we're going to North Carolina. So he slams it down a couple gears and starts accelerating and I slammed it down a couple gears and started accelerating and he just left me in the dust. My wife looked over and said, you know that supercharger you keep mentioning? Why don't you go ahead and get it? I do want to thank everybody for watching today. I do want to close out with this car here. It's a Cobra. No, it's not real. If it was, it'd be somewhere in a garage, hidden, covered up, protected, worth over a million bucks. But Carol Shelby, one of the phenoms when it comes to automobile history, he started this Cobra thing. You see a lot of kit, what we call kit cars, replicas. Uh, this is an example of that. Nice Cobra owned by a friend of mine. Uh, you buy the kit, you pick your engine, you pick your wheels, your tires, your suspension. You kind of build it the way you want to. Uh, nice paint, good looking car. When you see it going up the road, it looks like the original. The guys really enjoy driving them. If you see this out here, it's on the road. Trust me, it's not an original. But we want to thank you so much today for joining us. We've been at Riley Point Sport Grill. Great turnout today in a very hot weather. Uh, just remember, if it's happening anywhere in the triangle, it's happening on RaleighLifestyle.tv.